Hey there, Columbus State, and welcome to CSU News. I'm Harley Nivens. And I'm Sharifa Jackson. Here's what's happening this week on campus. Artists and art lovers alike are in for a treat this Tuesday as Columbus State's Department of Art plays host to Painterly Gestures, an exhibit that will showcase the talents and techniques of several nationally renowned artists at the Ilgis Hall Gallery. Craig Drennan, an Atlanta-based artist, will also lecture as the part of the art department's Gallery Talk series. Other participating artists include Jiha Moon, Robert Horvitz, Susanna Bloom, and Betsy Ebby. This free event kicks off at noon and is open to all students. For more information, contact the Department of Art at 706-507-8300. It's a big week for performing arts as well, as the theater department will begin its four-show run of Rapunzel, Rapunzel, A Very Hairy Fairy Tale at 7.30 on Thursday, September 12th. This reimagining of the classic tale directed by Professor Brenda May Eo will be performed Thursday night through Sunday afternoon at the Riverside Theater Complex. Adult tickets are $10. Tickets for children, seniors, and active duty military are $5. CSU students will receive one free ticket. CSU faculty and staff will receive two free tickets. For more information, connect, contact the theater department at 706-507-8400 or the box office at 706 706- 507-8444. I'll have to see if I can check out one of those shows. Cougar sports are back in full swing this week, and there's a new group of talented CSU athletes ready to make a name for themselves at the collegiate level. For more on Cougar athletics, we turn to Ben Hagen with sports. What you got for us, Ben? Do you like CSU? Do you like sports? Well, you're going to love CSU sports. Hello CSU, I'm Ben Hagen and I'm here with sports. Today we're going to be talking about the volleyball team. That's right, the volleyball team. The first team here for volleyball since 1981. They're calling it the pilot season because we're about to take off. Okay, Coach Casey Cornett is extremely excited about this season. I've seen them in the Lumpkin Center in passing and they look wonderful. Let's see what kind of games we have coming up here. Friday, September 9th, 7 p.m. Columbus State versus John C. Smith. On Saturday, September 10th at 12.30 p.m., we have Columbus State versus Limestone, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna show them that they're not as hard as Limestone. 7 p.m. on Saturday, the 10th of September, we have Columbus State versus Fort Valley State. Let's get up and let's go out and see our volleyball team support. Since 1981, guys. Now, let's go to soccer. Okay, guys, you know that down at the Walden Complex, we have a lot of stuff going on, a lot of kicking and screaming, so let's talk about them. The CSU Collegiate Invitational begins this Friday. It's gonna be at night, the Lady Cougars are gonna be taking on Tusculum. It's very hard to say that name. I know I just looked down at the sheet and it wasn't too easy on the eyes, and I don't think their play will be either. 7 p.m., like I said, the Walden Soccer Complex, and it's gonna end Sunday with CSU going up against North Alabama. Didn't even, Al didn't even know Alabama had a North. Thought it was all South, all right? And uh, attending the Invitational is going to be free, so you're not going to have to hurt your pockets. And uh, bring a Capri Sun because it might be a little hot, and Capri Sun's pretty good. All right. Last night, Peyton Manning dropped about seven hot bombs on the Baltimore Ravens. And uh, this weekend, this Sunday, the Atlanta Falcons, my favorite team in probably a lot of years since we're down here in the dirty south, A-Town Stomp. We're going to be on our way to the Super Bowl. Hopefully that's my prediction. It's my prediction every year. One of these years I'm going to get it right. Besides that, it's college football season, guys. This Sunday, Saturday, tailgating, Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, Miami, ACC, SEC, everything else, I guess, probably doesn't really matter to us. Just remember that the volleyball team plays, and that's all I'm too concerned about right now because it's exciting. All right, guys, you guys have a lovely evening. Keep winning, CSU. Thanks, Ben. After the break, we'll have Joy with your weekly weather report. We'll also be taking a look at campus organizations that students just might be interested in joining in. You're tuned in to CSU News. We'll be right back. Columbus State Television. Watch and learn.
Welcome back. If you're planning on spending some time outdoors this week, our weatherman Joey's got you covered. What do you have for us, Joey? Good afternoon, Cougars. I'm Joey Davila, and this is your weekly weather report. Starting today, we have a high of 89 and a low of 70. Moving into Wednesday, we have a high of 91 and a low of 72. Uh, onward to Thursday, we have a high of 90 and a low of 68. On to Friday, we have a high of 91 and a low of 69. Uh, going into your weekend on Saturday, we have a high of 87 and a low of 86. Onward to Sunday, a high of 88 and a low of 68. And finishing out on Monday, we have a high of 88 and a low of 68. I'm Joey Davila, and this is your weekly weather report. Thanks, Joey. Are you looking for more out of your college experience than merely just attending classes, cramming for exams, and writing research papers? If so, joining one of our many student organizations may be right up your alley. Actively participating in a campus group can truly enrich one's time here at Columbus State. Here's a glimpse at one of the many organizations that you might consider becoming a part of. That's all for CSU News. Thanks for watching. I'm Harley Niven. And I'm Sharifa Jackson. Have a wonderful day, Cougars. Hand in the cookie jar. Strike three. You're out. You gotta shoot it from the key. The 40, the 30, 20, 10. I always score. You gotta take it from the key.